and visit us today, Beryl? Well, of course I am. Oh. He should be here any time now. Can't you see him coming? Oh, no, I can't see anybody. Oh. Meow! <coughs> What's that? Sounds like somebody tapping at the window. Meow! <coughs> Is it Stephen? Well, well, I'm not sure. Now, Mooncat, I know Stephen doesn't live here anymore, but surely you can't have forgotten what he looks like. <laughs> of course I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Well, surely you can tell me if it's Stephen or not. Well, I can see somebody, but I can't tell if it's him or not. Well, I shall have to go to the front door and have a look myself. Yes. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Hello, Moonpat. Didn't you see me through the window? I did knock. Well, I heard you knock, but I couldn't see through the window properly. It's uh. dirty on the inside, and glass has got to be clean before you can see through it, hasn't it? Mm. That's right. Yeah. It was very dirty on the outside as well. It was covered in mud. Well, that is because someone has been throwing mud about the garden all morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she means me. <laughs> I might have guessed. And our window cleaner isn't coming this week. He's on holiday. Oh, yeah. What's a window cleaner? Well, a window cleaner is someone who comes every few weeks to uh, clean the windows. Oh, that's oh. why he's called a window cleaner. Oh, Fancy no. you not knowing that, Steve. <laughs> tut, tut. But I did know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well as, he's, as he's not coming, I think we ought to clean them for him. Yeah. Good oh. idea, Beryl. What shall I do first, then? Well, first of all, you ought to go and look on your screens and learn exactly how to do the job. Oh. Yeah. Come on, then. Hold very tight now. Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, have you been playing football in here again, Beryl? Look at these screens. They're filthy. <laughs> well, which screen should we choose? Uh, I think the clean screen, don't you? Right. Coming up on the square screen. Oh, look. There's a window cleaner. He's cleaning an office window. Well, what's he cleaning it with? Is it a cloth? No, it's a very soft piece of leather, and that makes the job easier. How will you reach that? You see. Uh -huh. oh, that's clever. What's that thing called? It's called a squeegee. <laughs> that's a good word. Squeegee. Finished. It's all clean now. That's a ladder, isn't it? What's he doing with that then? Oh, I see. He's going to climb up the ladder so he can clean the upstairs windows. That's right. The upstairs windows are much too high for him to reach, so he uses his ladder to get up to them. But what about very tall buildings? Their windows are so high up that you couldn't even reach them with a ladder, could you? No, you couldn't. So those windows have to be cleaned in a special way. Ooh, that's a tall building. And there are the window cleaners. <laughs> They're in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The box is fixed to the top of the building by ropes so that the men can move it up and down and clean all the windows. Ooh. Ah, it's squeegee time. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to clean windows so high up. Huh? Now, but our <laughs> windows aren't that high, are they? No, they're not, but we'll still need a ladder to clean the top of the windows. Oh, we've got a ladder in the garden. All right, then. One of us can use the ladder to clean the high bits, mm -hmm. and the other two can clean the low bits. <laughs> right, who's going to go up the ladder? 
I thought it might be me. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll go and set it up. Now, we'll get a bucket and some water on, Captain. Meow. And a window leather. No, three window leathers, actually. One each. Meow. And three cloths to polish the windows when we clean them. Meow. And um, a window cleaning hat. A window yeah. cleaning hat? Yes. You can't clean windows without a window cleaning hat, can you? No, I can. Well, I can't. Come on. Oh, oh, sorry, it's not easy carrying a ladder. <laughs> You'd be no good as a window cleaner. You just knock people's heads off all the time. <laughs> I will have you know, sir, that I'd make a very good window cleaner. And if you'll just magic up a little bit of music for me, I will prove it to you. No problem at all. One symphony orchestra coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have your windows clean? Would you like to have your windows clean? Got my ladder, got my leather, got the lovely sunny weather. Would you like to have your windows clean? Would you like to make your windows shine? Would you like to make your windows shine? Got my bucket, got my water, don't you think you really ought to let me help to make your windows shine? Would you like to have your windows clean? Have them brighter than you've ever dreamed? Got my cloth and got my leather, it's good window cleaning weather. Got my bucket, got my water, all a window cleaner ought to have a ladder. I can climb and make a window like a diamond, shining brighter than the sun. Oh, they look spotless when I've done. So would you like to have your windows clean? <laughs> no, thank you. Not today. Oh, Moon Cat, don't tease him. <laughs> yes, we would like you to clean the windows, please, Stephen. All right, lady. <laughs> I'll just go and set the ladder up for you, all right? That's right. <laughs> And uh, I think we'll just get out of the way, Beryl. No, I think we should. It would be safer. Yeah. Now, you go indoors yeah. and clean the inside, and I'll clean the outside of the windows. Right. I'll race you. Come on. <laughs> Would you like to have your windows clean? Would you like to have your windows clean? Got my leather, got my hat. Whoops, I just dropped some water on the mat. <laughs> Would you like your floors and windows cleaned? Lots of splashing, lots of splashing. Ooh, looks like Beryl's face needs washing. <laughs> all clean now. Where's the green cow? I said all clean now. Oh. Would you like to go and see what Billy and the animals are up to? Millie and the cannibals? No, Billy and the animals. Yeah. Would you like to go into the garden? Pardon? Garden. Pardon? Garden. Oh, garden. Pardon? Hmm? No, moon cat. Oh, come on then. Off to the pardon. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, somebody's stolen Stephen. Pardon? Oh, Beryl, don't start that again. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephen's ladder's gone, and so is he. I expect he's round the other side of the house, cleaning your window over there. Mm. I hope he doesn't cause as much trouble as Billy's window cleaner caused. Yeah. I'll tell you all about it. Mm. Billy and Woodley were busy one morning in Billy's bedroom. They were tidying her sock drawer, and they just put all the socks in a big heap on the bed when they heard the sound of monkey's feet scampering up the stairs. There's a man with a ladder! Woody looked at Billy, and then he marched to the bedroom door and looked out. It's the window cleaner, he said. But monkey didn't hear him. He was running down the stairs, shouting, It's a thief! It's a burglar! His shouts brought Mrs. Pinkerton trunks from the kitchen. And she pulled the letterbox open with her trunk and peeked out. Help, she cried. Help, there's a man with a ladder coming down the path. It's the window cleaner, called Woodley from the top of the stairs. 
but neither Monkey nor Mrs. Pinkerton Trunks paid any attention to him. Their shouts brought Mr. Milford Haven from the back garden. It's a man with a ladder, cried Monkey. It's a lamb with a ladder. It's a what? asked Mr. Milford Haven. It's the window cleaner, shouted Woodley, but no one took any notice of him. They were all running round in circles, bumping into one another and tripping over one another's tails. Woodley began to make his way downstairs and he just reached the bottom when suddenly Mr. Milford Haven cried, follow me, and everyone rushed onto the landing. Woodley sighed <sighs> and climbed up the stairs again. When he reached the top, he found Monkey, Mrs. Pinkerton Trunks, and Mr. Milford Haven in the bathroom. They were huddled together by the wash basin, looking at the shadow on the frosted glass. Dashed fellows trying to get in, said Mr. Milford Haven, and he leapt up onto the windowsill and growled and swished his tail. The shadow vanished, and everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Woody grinned. I told you, he said, it's the... But he got no further, for he found a big golden paw over his mouth. They listened and heard the scraping of the ladder as it was propped against the wall. Said Woodley, trying to breathe through Mr. Milford Haven's paw. Tap, tap, went the end of the ladder as it came to rest against the window pane. It's the man who comes to do the windows, said Woodley. He makes them all clean and shiny. The animals looked at Woodley and then looked at one another and then they trooped quietly down the stairs, murmuring to one another as they went. It's the man who cleans the windows, dear. Well, that's why I thought it was, actually. Me too, me too. Woodley went back to Billy's bedroom. What's all the noise about, asked Billy. Nothing, said Woodley. It's only the window cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> nearly all the windows clean. That's oh. nearly all the windows clean. All finished, Stephen? Well, all except one. There's oh. one window around this side of the house that I forgot to clean, oh. and it's very dirty. Well, I'll clean it now. Can I help you with the ladder? Oh, it's all right, Mooncat. I'm getting good at this. Oh. Oh. See? <laughs> yes, are, are you... Do be careful, Stephen, won't you? Oh, don't worry. Yes. Everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's one window you won't have to clean. <laughs> Would, Would you, you like, like to have your windows smashed? Yeah.